Howdy, folks, and welcome aboard the SS Horror. I will be your captain. Today, we got the highly anticipated review of The Witch. So sit back, take a dip, and enjoy. Welcome back, folks. Today's dip is going to be, I'm dipping back into the teaser, Black Cherry Bomb, okay? Because it's a little late and I feel like I need that pick-me-up. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these and put it in the starboard side this time. Mmm! Love that Black Cherry Bomb flavor. Hopefully it gives me some energy so I can be entertaining to y'all. Alright, so today we're reviewing The Witch. Now, The Witch was released in 2015, and it's rated R. Already off to a good start, right? It's, I watched it, okay, on the Amazon Prime streaming service, so you can check it out for free if you got Amazon Prime. Just get on that little app, or, or if you have it on your smart TV, or on your PlayStation, Xbox, check it out on the Amazon app. The Witch, all right? Now, it was written by a guy named Robert Eggers, who also directed it. Writer and director, Robert Eggers. Awesome. The music was done by Mark Coven. Don't know much about him, but the music in this is pretty good. Production and distribution. The thing that sticks out in this category for me was A24. Now, A24 does a lot of movies, and they, and they got a lot of those uh, artsy horror movies. The running time is 93 minutes, and for those of you like myself who cannot do the math, that is one hour and 33 minutes long right there in that sweet spot still so let's talk about the theme the theme this is an old time fairy tale like folklore it's a story based on a real belief structure of the people of this time period in 1630 it takes place 1630 new england okay like i said so it's a folklore it, it's it's a fairy tale of sorts, uh, an American one at that. All right, because we're nineteen or uh, excuse me, sixteen thirty in New England, right here in the good old USA. So what this is about is about a family that's excommunicated from their church and their village. They're forced to live outside, outside of safety of the village, outside of the church. They're living alone. And from what I could tell, it's about a day's horseback ride back to the village. So that's pretty far out there. The family starts to believe that they're cursed by something when their little baby boy goes missing. And you'll see that if you check this out. Now, eventually, they start putting blame on their kids, especially their eldest daughter. And that creates a big amount of tension in this family. Mm. Black Cherry Bomb, I'm already getting the energy. I can already feel it. All right. This is going to be good for y'all. All right, scariness. This has a low scariness value, in my opinion. You'll sleep just fine tonight after you watch this video. It ain't that bad, all right? The fear comes from constantly wondering what is plaguing this family, all right? We know it's a witch, yet you actually see a witch. But how powerful is she, and what is her goal through all this? We don't know. They don't ever tell us, all right? So we kind of got to just leave it up to our imagination. Pros. Got great atmosphere. It's crazy. It's out in the woods. It gets dark. It's got all kinds of good sound effects and music. You know, the dialogue is, it, we'll talk about the dialogue. So the dialogue is an old, and I mean old, old, old English, all right? So as soon as you press play on that video, you better have them subtitles on. Otherwise, you ain't going to understand what anybody's saying. I'm, I'm telling you, the first time I watched this thing, I was like, uh, oh, I better put, I better turn on these subtitles. 20 minutes in here, and I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, so this dives really deep into the belief structure of the people of this time. You're going to hear a lot about God and a lot of things that they're going to blame on God. Everything's God's fault. Everything's God's will, which is how people thought back then. So it's a story about what people believed in that era in our developing country. You know, these people came from England and now they're in New England. They're trying to start up over here and, and you know, they got a bunch of problems. So it's really interesting in that aspect it's got a historical value to it now the last pro i'll talk about is 
the ending. This ending is amazing, and it actually is the biggest payoff out of the whole movie. You sit there for your 93 minutes. Well, not, a, not all of that. Probably like 60 minutes, and then the last 30 minutes, you are engaged, okay? And you get to an ending. I feel the ending has a good conclusion, but I could see how people might think it was kind of vague. So, let's talk about some cons. So, the movie drags on a little bit. Their action is is there, but it's kind of on a city plateau. Um, the action leads you to thinking that there's going to be a big payoff after these scenes, but that never really happens, and that's kind of a bummer. So, you're kind of just always in anticipation of something cool going to happen, but more often than not, you're disappointed. So, another con is, yes, this movie does have to be watched in subtitles. So, if you don't like reading subtitles, that's a rough one for you. So, in conclusion here, I think that this is directed towards a niche audience. I don't think it's for everybody. I think that there are a lot of horror fans out there that will like it. But it still falls into that artsy horror movie category. If you go into this movie with no expectations, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. But be sure to watch it at least twice. Watch it once and say, oh, that was weird. Or, oh, that was really good. Then come back a month or two later and see what your thoughts are on, uh, thoughts are on it then, okay? Me and my first mate, we watched it twice and we both agree that the second third times through we were like okay yeah this is this movie's getting better now i understand what to expect but when you go in with no expectations first it's actually a, it, it's a good experience that way that way when you come back to watch it you're like oh i caught something i didn't see the last time anyway that's my take on this movie we are going to do the video second opinion first mate so be looking for that all right sound off in the comments like comment subscribe check us out on the twitter Check us out on the Facebook. Don't uh, don't forget to try out this teaser. I'll leave another link in the description for you. It's good stuff. And look at me. I'm all peppy up, up late at night, and I'm all ready to rock and roll. All right. So in the future, we be looking for the second opinion first mate. And I'm still thinking about doing the video with my little mermaid if we watch Goosebumps. So hopefully that gets done. Anyway, that's all I have for you, folks. This has been your captain speaking, and remember to keep it spooky, y'all.